Hey internet, Greg and Andrew here again. We're here to talk about Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Spoiler free, of course. We were lucky enough to attend the US premiere at Radio City Music Hall over the weekend. And I was very lucky because I got to see it again last night uh, at the IMAX fan event. So we've both seen it twice. And today we are gonna talk to you about what we loved about the film. Uh, first up, Ben Affleck as Batman. What did you think about him? I thought he did a great job. You know, it's the Batman we haven't really seen before. Um, I think, you know, he's a little bit darker, um, a little bit aged. You know, he's been through a lot, you can tell, this Batman. The darker night. The, the darker night. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he's, he's definitely, you know, seen his fair share of, of fights and, and, and battles up to this point. And, you know, we, we haven't seen that history yet. And it kind of throws you into this, this new um, era of Bruce Wayne and this new mm -hmm. Batman that, you know, I, I think fans are going to be excited about. What sure. do you think? Yeah, yeah, I, I really, 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 really yeah. liked Ben Affleck yeah. as uh, Batman. I think he nailed the performance of both Bruce Wayne as ba and Batman. Uh, the costume looks great on him. Yeah. So inspired by Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. It's definitely the best action scene we've yet to see from a live action Batman. Yeah. The warehouse fight without spoiling anything. You get a nice mix of, uh, it's kind of like an Arkham video game come to life. You get the, the brutal and awesome hand-to-hand -hand yeah. combat. You get the uh, tactical approach with the gadgets. It's it's really good. I haven't seen an angrier uh, Bruce Wayne or Batman in on film before. Also, he was pretty mad most oh, of the yeah. movie. Well, I guess oh, you know they, they get in a fight, and they, you know, so he has to be angry in a sense to to want to fight Superman. But oh yeah, ben, ben Broody, Affleck, Batman. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and he has every right to be. I mean, this is a hardened Batman who's been through. I think he said at least twenty years of being Batman. He's yeah. lost a Robin. Who knows what else he's gone through? And now he feels powerless in a world where Superman exists and. You know, the people can clash and he feels useless, so he wants to do something about that. There's it's also a really cool um, bat cave that mm -hmm. we saw in this movie. Um, I think it was really built up. You know, you see the underground tunnels. You see a lot of cool stuff that uh, you haven't really seen in the other Batman movies, I think. Yeah, the dynamic with Al Alfred was also really yeah. good. I know one thing about Man of Steel, obviously people are divided on that. I really liked it. Uh, people often say that it was a humorless movie. That was not the case here. Alfred has some uh, good banter with him. What do you think about him? He was a pretty cool Alfred, actually. Yeah. He was like your hip kind of grandpa Alfred, <laughs> I think, in a, in a sense. You know, he was, uh, he was a bit cooler and more hip than, uh, than Michael Caine was in the previous movies. And I think, uh, yeah, he seemed like the cool kind of tech guy to... Uh, he was like the, the cue to James Bond in a sense. That, that, that's what it seemed like for this movie for me. Uh, one thing that I also liked about Batman was there are a lot of nods to the source material. I mean, we were talking about this earlier off camera. There's a lot of stuff blatantly inspired by The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Uh, there was one scene, to be completely honest with you, the first time I saw it, had a bit of a problem with it. Um, and then I, I thought it looked familiar, though. And then I flipped through the pages again, and I said, yeah, this is, this is almost you know shot for shot something that happened in the comics. So yeah. I thought that was a very cool. There was a lot of love to the source material. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, go back and after you see this movie, check out the Dark Knight Returns. You'll mm -hmm. see a lot of comparisons to this movie. Yeah. Shameless plug mode. We have a lot of <laughs> copies of the Dark Knight Returns in all three stores. So if you haven't read it, definitely check it out. So after uh, Man of Steel, we see Superman, um, Clark Kent in a whole new place. You know, he's, uh, you know, this movie starts with, with where that movie ended. Um, as you can probably see from the trailers, you know, Bruce Wayne sees the destruction uh, that, that happened in Metropolis in the past movie. And, uh, and Clark Kent and Superman, they're, they're kind of, he's kind of uh, facing the struggle that the government um, doesn't necessarily know what to do with him. They don't necessarily know if they want to, you know, um, him to save them or they, they don't really know the best uh, thing to do. So, yeah. so what, do you, what do you think about his struggle that's going on in this movie? I think it makes sense. I mean, it, it's a pretty organic follow-up to Man of Steel. You have this guy who has the power to, you know, he's just a guy trying to do the right thing, but that's scary to some people because he's also a guy that no one could stop if they really wanted yeah. to. And who does he report to? Who who can hold him responsible for his actions? Can he be reprimanded at all? Yeah. So I think those are important things that need to be addressed, even though he is a guy just, you know, he's obviously trying to do the right thing. I mean, uh, in this movie, there's, you know, the trailers have shown several sequences of him being Superman, if there is danger somewhere, he does his best to go there and help out. So this this movie definitely humanizes him in a sense. Um, you know, you see that side of him, and a lot of people still think, you know, he's this alien. He's not welcome here. We don't need him here to help us to save us. But I think he sees that struggle, and he sees, you know, what kind of hero he needs to be 
uh, to, to Metropolis and to, to the whole the whole world. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, he's in the spotlight. He's he's trying to do the right thing, and uh, <laughs> he's receiving a very mixed response from the entire world. There are people out there who are blatantly out to get him, yeah. and that can't be easy. So he's understandably conflicted. Uh, a lot of people have a certain expectation with Superman. They want him to be always bright and cheery, optimistic, and full of hope. And I love that in comics. I mean, that's that's really powerful stuff, and I think we always need something like that in our life. Something that, you know, no matter how tough things get, something to always be better than yourself, try to do the right thing. What would Superman do? Uh, <laughs> but in this, it's obviously a different take. It's trying to be, like you said, more humanizing, more relatable. Yeah. And uh, they put in the, it's not a, it's not an easy experience for Superman in this movie. It's a very rough time for him. Yeah, yeah I think there's gonna be a lot of talk about it for years to come, just yeah. like there was a Man of Steel. So another new character to this movie was uh, Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisberg's Lex, Lu Lex Luthor, and um, he was a very different portrayal of, of the Lex we've seen on you know film and, and TV in the past. Um, this Lex is younger; he has all of his hair. Um, <laughs> he uh, and he's a little bit more like a Willy Wonka kind of character in a sense. That's that's, that's the impression I got of him. Um, you know, he's a little uh, he's a little bizarre. He's a little loony. He's a little uh, controlling, um, and he seems kind of powerless in, compared to you know Superman and, and Batman these figures. You know, the whole movie he's kind of striving to get this power. Um, it, it's a, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it was a, it was a cool different take on the character. What do you think? Yeah, I completely agree with you. It was a very different approach to Lex Luthor. I think when people think of Lex Luthor, they think of a uh, not only a dangerous and brilliant businessman, but also someone who's a little physically imposing for yeah. a regular human. He's he's a scary looking yeah. dude. And but Jesse's not that scary looking. No, not at all. <laughs> and that's what makes him even more dangerous, I yeah. think. Where people look at him and they may underestimate him. And uh, he puts on what seems to be this eccentric act. But behind the scenes, you could tell he's working on a lot of other stuff. And uh, you can definitely tell in this he's not the nicest guy around. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he definitely pulls off a Lex Luthor-ish thing or two. It may be a little more, like I said, eccentric than some people expect. But uh, yeah, the dynamic's definitely there. He has, uh, he has his own reasons for really hating and wanting to destroy Superman. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's, there may be a scene with him and someone else as well. And another big part of this movie, your T-shirt, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She was awesome. I think I think all around everyone loved her and, and thought she was one of the best parts of the movie. Um, you know, we haven't also this is a new character we haven't seen on the screen before, mm -hmm. and uh, seeing her in the you know in the costume, um, everyone went wild in the theater. I remember that was a, a big part that everyone kind of freaked out at, because you know you're build, it's building up anticipation the whole movie. You see her throughout the whole movie, and then at the end, once you see her in that costume and with all the the sword and the shield and the weapons, it's 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 amazing. It's really cool. So yeah, Wonder Woman. She was definitely badass. I mean, we don't want to spoil anything really about her action sequence all the trailers clearly show it but um there there's a few moments in there where you could tell she's someone who relishes a good fight and she's someone who is definitely a force to be reckoned with in a brawl uh yeah. she she's definitely came across as a badass and i think most people will be very very pleased and want to see more of her what do you think i think so too you know in the the, the beginning um the movie you know it's just kind of leading up like i was saying it's kind of you know Bruce meets her, and I guess I don't want to be too spoilery here, but um, <laughs> in scene five, but um, but yeah, you know, you, you start to get a feeling of the of this character throughout the whole movie, and then you know you kind of learn more about her history. There's going to be another Wonder Woman movie, mm -hmm. right, coming up pretty soon, so I guess we'll learn some more then. But uh, I think this was a great um, starter, and this is a great way for to introduce the character to, to the new audience and the, the, throughout this new film. Oh yeah, for sure, definitely a great way to sell people on. Uh, being interested in Wonder Woman before the movie comes out in 2017. Yeah. So obviously a big part of this movie is Batman versus Superman, the conflict between them, their disagreement. But it's also called Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Why do you think that is? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, there's Justice League Part 1, Justice League Part 2 announced, Wonder Woman has her own movie, Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, uh, Green Lantern Corps, Shazam. Yeah. So much coming up in the future. And this movie has a lot of big teasers where I think uh, many DC fans who have been waiting to see some of these characters on the big screen, I think it's something that'll get them very excited. And they did it in a way where uh, it's a very simplistic way to do it, but it doesn't convolute the plot or anything. Yeah. It's just a way of like giving pure fan service. And I think I remember in both screenings, people freaked out. They were just like <laughs> cheering and everything. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, yeah. it's one of those moments in the film where you know it's it's definitely made for the fans, and, yeah. and you can tell that you know they they showcase it in this way that people are just you know they're at the theater. You're gonna you're gonna freak out. You're gonna go crazy when you see it. But um, 
but you know you might see some some familiar faces some familiar characters that you've heard about you know even behind greg you might see one of these guys appear i'm not I don't know who knows but um but yeah i think it was uh it was it was handled in a, in a fun way without taking away from the plot and it, introducing too many characters in, in a strange way to me i had a few moments watching this movie where i, I was just it was tough to contain my inner fanboy because yeah. it was so cool seeing some of these things happening on the big screen uh that's how i felt watching the trailer when i saw the trinity for the first time on the small screen i know some people would have rather waited to see that but when you see it on the big screen assuming you're excited for this movie it's definitely something that's gonna get you excited once again and um, yeah I just think there's a lot of pure fan service sprinkled throughout here and also nods to several different storylines oh, yeah. so those are our spoiler free thoughts about what we really really enjoyed about the film and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as we did um, comes out March 25th hopefully you're all seeing it opening weekend uh, Please, once you do see it, be sure to share your opinion on the comments, even if you respectfully disagree with us. Um, and no it, disagreeing. Can't, can't disagree with that. No disagreeing allowed. Um, yeah, but I mean, if once once you watch Batman v Superman, uh, it's just the beginning of this stuff. I mean, Suicide Squad is uh, in August later this year, so very exciting time to uh, be looking forward to DC movies on the yeah. big screen. And of course, there's several other awesome stuff, but we won't mention that coming out because <laughs> this is all about DC, this video. So yeah, if you do enjoy our videos, please be sure to subscribe. We also have a spoiler-free written review. You can check that out in the description below. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys next time.